I would like to talk to you a little bit about why I am so attracted to fruits and also why kids are so attracted to fruits. If you observe a child from a very early age, let's say the day they're born, they immediately reach for the breast milk. They understand that this is food without having somebody there to tell them that. They, they wouldn't understand it even if you told them. But they, they, they know this is food. A little later on, show them a banana or a mango. They understand that this is food. This is good for them. It's, it's good for my stomach. It's easy digestive. It's, a, it's exactly what I need and it tastes amazing. Kids love the sweets. <clears throat> But then, of course, we humans, parents, society interfere and we teach the child what we were thought as, as when we were kids. And with all the stimulants in our food today, and by stimulants I mean salt, spices, mixing 15 ingredients in one, one uh, meal, it's really stimulating for the mind. It's hard for the body to, to know oh, what, what in, this, in this food is it that I want. <clears throat> And even if it knows, how are you supposed to, to get its signals? And so, at a very early age, the little child forgets its innate knowingness. It doesn't actually forget, but it, it can't really connect with it anymore. The innate knowingness about what we're supposed to eat is likely the only thing we actually need in life to survive. All the other things you can pick up along the way. You can learn how to gather your food or to, how to find it. And if you have some, somebody there, you can observe them. How do they do it? And if you're all alone in the jungle, you will probably find, it, find out for yourself because we're creative beings. But you, you need to know from the start what we're actually supposed to eat. So we were given it from day one. All the other animals know. You, you seldom see a cow lying dead on the grass because it ate a toxic flower or something. It doesn't happen. Nature doesn't work like that. All the other species on earth can tell a po what is poison for them and what is food. And what is the biggest difference between a, a human being and let's say a pig or a horse or any other animal? And the biggest difference that I can come up with is the mind. We humans are the only species on earth with a highly developed mind. And we are also the only species on earth that doesn't have a clue what we're supposed to eat. So why is it that, that after all this time we're still asking our minds to solve the, this question? The mind will never do that. It's not the work, it's not it's the mind's job to solve this question because the body already knows. We need to get the mind out of the way. And the best way to do that, you can try this at home, get rid of all the stimulants, never mix food, eat only one whole food at one sitting and see which one that actually tastes good when you eat them like that. If you think meat tastes good in its original state, I, I don't think most, most people don't. If you cook it, add salt, uh, Maybe it's still really hard to eat it as your primary source of calories. So everything that doesn't taste good, stop eat it and see what still tastes good in its original state. What what you what satisfies you and what is tasty. If you think of a raw potato uh, tastes good, I don't think you will do that. If you think a boiled potato tastes good in its natural state, no salt, no butter, no nothing. Uh, no, nothing else to it, then that's probably what you're supposed to eat. But I think you will come up with the solution that fruits are the only thing that actually tastes really, really awesome in its natural state. And that's how kids see it. This tastes amazing. If you give a kid 10 things on the table, do you think, and you, you want them to eat everything, like we do, we eat a little bit salad, we eat a little bit rice, we eat a little bit of the meat, and like that, like that. We, we, we take a little bit of everything because we, we think we need all the nutrients from everything. A child doesn't work that way. If you give them a tomato and a potato, you want them to eat both. But if they happen to think the tomato tastes better, they won't eat the potato. Maybe they eat it afterwards, but they start with what tastes best. 
all humans love their sweets. There's no denying it. We love sweets. From the day we're born, we, love, we have a sweet tooth. But all humans on earth seem to believe that we were given this sweet tooth just to suffer the rest of our lives. Are we supposed to suppress our cravings for sweets? That can't happen. It, nature doesn't work that way. What tastes good in nature probably is good for us. What tastes bad in nature is probably not what we're supposed to eat. And that always could be difference between different animals. Grass doesn't taste good for me, so I, I don't think I'm supposed to eat grass. Fruit tastes really good, so that's probably what I'm supposed to eat. For, for a cow, however, or for a horse, they eat a lot of grass, so probably it tastes amazing from them, for them, but they don't eat fruits. It, or maybe they do a little bit, but that's not their primary source of, of calories. The sweet tooth is a part of our guiding system so that we can know what we're supposed to eat. Why do we ignore it? Fruit is our primary food. Humans are frugivores. That's what my body tells me. Thanks for listening.